All right, good evening. Uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Steve and the Tea Party for hosting, and thank you uh, to the church for uh, lending us uh, the facility here uh, to talk about some serious issues here in Sandoval County. Uh, I'm sorry my opponent can't be here. This is my second uh, form and meet and greet. We had one on September 11th, and uh, she was not able to make that as well, and I'm sorry that she can't make this one too. Some of the issues affecting this county First and foremost is jobs, is economic development. And there are a lot of questions out there of where we're going to go when it comes to Sandoval County and what direction we're going to go to. My opponent believes if we add more jobs to the county government, we're going to be, we're going to have prosperity. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. We have to incentivize businesses to come here. We've had a couple of victories lately with uh, Safe Light, 900 jobs, and PCM, about 224 jobs. PCM, the average salary is going to be about $45,000 to $65,000 a year. That's, those are good wages for people to work and live and raise their families in St. Paul County. So economic development is my top issue. The second issue is the lack of leadership on the commission right now, especially the last four years. My opponent was absent. When we had, a, we had a vote to increase the fire department budget to cover shortages, she was absent for a budget resolution to send $55,000 to the uh, Sandoval County Detention Center. She was absent in July to vote for the final county budget. She was absent to vote for the $50 billion industrial uh, revenue bond. That's extremely important for economic development. We don't need another position that makes six figures on the county government. There's an assistant county manager that they're pushing. Makes $102,000 a year. Yet we're short on our deputies. We're short on our fire. We're, we're sustaining fire equipment that's up to 30 years old. And the last thing that we need is to have an assistant county manager and other, by the way, other positions they're trying to add. And we're paying for that. I've, I've knocked on hundreds of doors. And everyone right now, their property taxes are going up. They don't know what they're receiving for government services. And it needs to stop. It's time to stop government intrusion. It's time to show leadership. <coughs> Lastly, accountability. Not one candidate, not one candidate has come out against a commissioner who was just indicted for two felonies. I am the only one who's called for his resignation. My opponent sits next, sits next to him at every meeting. <coughs> And she's been silent. And that's wrong. We need candidates that will stick up for the people, and we need elected officials. Who My name's Jay Block. I'm running for Sandoval County District 2. I'm a retired lieutenant colonel in the US Air Force. Served in Afghanistan. I've been a senior commander on foreign soil twice, representing our country. And I ask humbly for your vote, but more important, ask for your trust. Thank you. I'd like to ask a follow-on question. Sure. Uh, 